access to what Jester and Press will look like in a thousand years. Well, kind of. <laughs> this YouTuber, Forever Sparks, has been posting Dresser and Press concepts for about two months now, and they're all insane. As you can see, I'm a pretty big fan of their content. I've watched all of their videos, but I really want to react to them live and see what you guys think of them. Make sure to like the video and subscribe if you haven't already to become an iconic, and let's hop right in. Okay, this is the first video they posted, and it's called If I Worked for Dresser and Press. Now, this is the first one I ever saw. As you can see, I already have it liked, but I can't quite remember what they covered. So, let's see. Dress to Impress in 10 years. Win prizes for completing obbies. Ooh, that would be good. <gasps> the animation. Oh my goodness. So I'm seeing here, if you completed the obby, you could pick between like 10,000 cash, one week of VIP, or this super cute dress. Oh my goodness. I feel like these prizes might be a tiny bit too generous for completing the obbies that we have currently. Even in the Halloween update, I feel like the obbies are still a bit too easy to get 10,000 cash. But I feel like it would still be a really cool concept or idea. Maybe it could be like the first person to complete it, get a prize. So it's kind of like a race. I feel like that would be really cool. If you could win one week of VIP off of doing the obby, I just know it would be war in the Dress to Impress servers. People would be literally fighting to get to the end of that obby. Two new exclusive clothing bundles, game passes. Ooh. <gasps> Wait! Firstly, I swear if these clothes are from Royal High. But this would be such a cute concept. I feel like they already kind of did this in the Halloween update. They had the witch bundle and also like a few other ones as well. But I feel like they could have even more kind of match different aesthetics. That would be so cool. Also, I know that the witch one was in game currency and these ones are for Robux. I feel like in game currency would make more sense. And also then it would be just more accessible to more people. 300 Robux per outfit is mildly insane. I feel like I would go broke very, very quickly. Vote kick problematic players for from a server. <gasps> this would be literally the best addition to the game. Guys, I don't know if you've had this already, but you know when like you're doing your makeup in Just to Impress and someone comes in front of you and blocks your view from doing all of your makeup. Also, I feel like there have been some problematic outfits made on Just to Impress recently. So I feel like this would be a good feature to add. New customization, new patterns, and new codes. Yup, yup. These patterns are so cute. Are you joking? The Care Bears one! Bro, if there's a Care Bears pattern, I just know that Haley would go insane. I just know that she would go absolutely crazy because she is obsessed with Care Bears. The next one we're gonna watch is Dress to Impress in 100 Years. Now, this is the one that has the most views 1.3 million views. Okay, Dress to Impress in 1000 Years. Let's see what this one is saying. New body types. <gasps> Ooh, okay, I'm seeing a slim, a thick, and a muscular body type. I already know that there are new body types coming to Dress to Impress, guys, which is so, so good to see. I know that they now have the male and the female body type. Adding a new body type actually takes a lot of work because you have to rework every single piece of clothing in Dress to Impress to fit the new body. And that's like hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of pieces of clothing. Like, it is not an easy addition. Okay, voting insights. Oh, no, this is evil. This is evil. Imagine you could see how many stars someone voted you. This would cause so many arguments if you were playing with your friends and then you could look at how much they voted you and they voted you one star Friendship over. This would lead to friendship breakup, to romantic breakup, to so many fights in the server. It would be insane. Low key, it might encourage some people to vote you more. For example, Skinny Legend, you should have voted me five stars, okay? Like, I would be able to call you out in public, and then people might actually start voting fairly. <gasps> Animated eyes for custom makeup. Oh my goodness. Guys, I've literally already suggested this to the Dress to Impress team. Now that we have animated hair, we need animated eyes as well. I feel like the animated hair that they added in the Halloween update literally just upgraded the entire game. Like, I use that hair in almost all of my looks. So I feel like animated eyes would add so much to the look as well, guys. I'm not gonna lie. That would be such a good addition. Number four, new rank prizes. Oh, no, this would be so good. The trendsetter dress is already a rank prize. I don't know what rank it's for, but it's like this dress to should definitely add more rank prizes. Especially like cash and stuff, or maybe even like a week of like a game pass, or even just like a day or an hour. That would be so much more motivation for people to play the game more. Like, how is it there a prize for being a top model? Like, I grinded to get the top model and I didn't receive a prize. This is rigged. We need prizes. Theme definition, they added this. They posted this a month ago and Dress to Impress added this basically almost a month ago or like three weeks ago in the Halloween update. So they heard our cries. How if they didn't add recommended items? Now, that would be so helpful. If we could see, have inspiration for what items to use. Because even now, when I use the theme description button, sometimes I'm lost as to what items to use. Like, 
Like, I still don't know. It's like, what item do I use for a mysterious vibe? Like, I don't know. Let's hop over to this video here. This says dress to press in 1,000 years. Now, I think that this is their second most viewed content video. Oh, wait, no, their third. But still, 540k views. Damn. Let's see what concepts this one is suggesting. Save hair combos. Oh, my goodness. Yes. Dress to impress. Please, please, please. Add this to your game immediately. Because I always forget what hairs I use in a combo. Like, I will make the most spectacular, stunning hair combo. And then I'll forget what hairs I use. And I will never find that exact same hair combo again. And it's so frustrating. Oh, recolor patterns. Oh, my goodness. And pattern toggles. Yes. I feel like Chester Press would just make separate patterns. There's already a lot of patterns in the game that are basically the exact same pattern, except a different color or just a kind of mildly different. But imagine if we could recolor patterns, guys. The time and effort this would save me. Because a lot of the time, I'm trying to find a pattern to match a theme, but it's not the right color. Like, it's the perfect pattern, but it's just not the right color. Whoever this Forever Sparks person is, they have the mind of a mastermind. Tattoos? Oh my goodness, Lena doing tattoos, bye. Imagine there was a nail lady, I'm in a tattoo lady, or a tattoo man. Just to impress, if you're watching, I feel like Nick, the tattoo artist, would be a really good addition to the game. That's all I'm gonna say. Nicholas, the tattoo man. That would be a good addition, guys, okay? Right, right, that sounds good. Tell me in the comments if you think Nicholas, the tattoo man, should be added to the game. This is such a cool concept, but I know that we could already kind of do tattoos with patterns. If we add, for example, sleeves and then add the tattoo pattern, it technically gives us tattoos, but I feel like having actual tattoos would look so much better, and it would mean we didn't have to layer clothing to get tattoos. This would be so helpful. Oh my goodness, it would add a whole nother layer to the game. Oh my goodness, and you could even change the scale and rotate and reposition them. That would be so cool. Next, save and upload looks. Ooh, what does this mean? <gasps> Wait! Oh my goodness! Wait, this is so smart! This would be literally like turning Dress to Impress into almost like a social media network. Like, you could save an outfit or take a picture it, post it onto Dress to Impress for people to take inspiration or to like comment under it. That would be so cool. You could like like an outfit and add a comment. This would be so, so dope. I love this concept. Then maybe you could even get like followers on Dress to Impress. Like imagine flexing that you're Dress to Impress famous. I need this added immediately because I always want to post my outfits, but I don't just want to post them randomly on like TikTok or something. Create wish list. Can you buy my wish list? Okay. View wish list. <gasps> Wait. Oh my goodness. That's that's almost kind of like gifting people their like, I guess, Amazon wish list. You could give someone their dress to impress wish list, kind of as like a present. To be honest, though, I just know that this would make VIP beggars so much more insufferable. Instead of people asking you to buy VIP, people would now ask you to buy their entire wish list. So I feel like this is a good concept in concept, maybe not in real life, because I feel like I would be harassed on the daily to buy people's wish list. The last video that we're gonna react to is one that was posted two days ago. It's just called If I Was Hired by Dress to Impress. Now the thumbnail for this this one looks super interesting. I'm literally addicted to these concepts. Like, they're so fun to watch. I could stay here for hours watching them. Let me know if you guys want a part two to this video. Now, let's see our last few concepts. I was hired by Dress to Impress. Okay, new age body type. This would be so cool! You could choose to either be a kid, an adult, or even old. Bye! I love how the old person is just like this. Like, this is the old body type. It's just like a huh? hunchback. Like, that, that is all the old body type consists of. They would have to rework every single piece of clothing in the game to fit kids and also the old body type. Like, two new body types. They'd have to rework every single item. Maybe in the future, this would be such a cool thing to add. If there was themes like me in, like, 50 years or something, you could actually commit and have an old body type. Five face piercings. Oh my goodness! So we've seen tattoo art, we've seen save hair combos, and now we're seeing face piercings. This would be such a cool addition, bro! I know that they've already added some face piercings to the custom makeup section, but if we had some like 3D ones that actually look like on the face, that would be so dope! You could add like a nose ring and like different face piercings like that. That would be so slight, an eyebrow one! There'd be like some themes that would absolutely slay with this, like goth themes or stuff like that. This would eat Oh! And that's the end of that video. Oh my goodness. These concepts are so, so cool. I will be linking Forever Sparks channel down below if you guys want to check any of their videos out. They are all insane and so well edited. If you guys like this video, let me know and comment what your favorite concept was because honestly, all of them were insane. If you want to become an iconic, it's super easy. All you have to do is subscribe and then you literally become like the best people on YouTube. Like, what are you waiting for? Subscribe right now. The real question is, where do you think Dress to Impress will be in 10 years?